Two, can you go ahead and give me uh, attack right? Two. And uh, go ahead and climb to like 30, 35,000 feet. And uh, also reference a 350. Two. One passing through 34,000 feet now, leveling up. Okay, nails. 29. Bearing 350. Don't have them on radar yet. Too same. Uh, switching to TWS. And I got contact 60 miles right up the nose, 350, Angels 35. Two. Two groups of four. Looks like about a five mile spread. Okay, I'm being locked. All right, uh, confirm you see the first group of four? Uh, negative. Copy. I'm going to shoot him first then. Roger. Oh, I just got him. Okay, don't shoot. Uh, let me shoot at these guys. I got three of them locked up. Roger. So why don't you go cold now? And then recommit, and then that should put you on uh, on target to shoot these guys and kill whatever survivors are left. Roger. First group is notching. Lost lock, all contacts. Uh, negative, we got two still locked. Two's out cold, 180. Copy, Fox 3 on two contacts, 22 miles. One is off cold. Two's turning in, huh? Copy. One's off one nine zero. Okay, you said you were recommitted. Roger. Okay, one is recommitted. Whole lot of contacts in front of me here. Yeah, Roger. You want me to shoot and then you can sort what doesn't break out? Yeah, I do that. Ah, Roger. What's your range? Uh, 28 miles. Copy. I'm actually much closer. I'm 17 miles, 16 miles. So I'll shoot first, you clean up. Roger that.
Okay, four missiles out. Flares out from one. I'm off cold. I'm coming off a 180. Uh, two's out cold. Yeah, but one's recommitting. We got two AMRAMs left. I've got six. I got two guys in the cons bearing uh, zero, one, zero, 24,000 feet. Looks like I got a 29 chasing me. Copy. I think I might have him locked. Stand by at 13 miles, Fox 3. One's defending. Oh, he fired at me. Flares out. And one's off one four zero. Cold splash one. Two's in. Box three. Copy, I got another guy in the cons right here. Okay, nine miles, Fox three, and one is Winchester off cold. Roger that. I've got one up in the con. Yeah, I, I'm killing him. dead. My guy's dead. This guy's flaring. That's you going for him? It was. I emerged. Okay, you worry about him. There's another guy. I'll take care of him. Roger that. merged with a MiG-21 here.
Okay, I hit my MIG. He's still in the fight, though. Alright, splash. Good kill. Uh, you see this guy? White smoke? Should be right yep, in front of roger. you. Yeah, roger. Two right, of I'm, them. I'm right behind him. Roger that. I'm moving to support. Hit him again. And again. And again, splash one. Okay, I got him. Going to TWS here, hold on. Uh, Angel's 15. And he is bearing uh, 120. There's two of them. 120 altitude. Uh, 11,000. He's flaring now in the mountains. I'm not sure if I'm above the clouds right now. Copy. They're in the valleys. There's two of them. One, four, zero. I'm giving chase. You need to come right. I see you in the cons. One of them is looking at me. Okay, I'm merged with a 21. There's another guy headed to base. Roger. Oh, I think I got him on radar. Copy. Be advised, I'm right behind the MiG-21, so... Uh, I don't know if you're right behind this one or not. Just send it. Roger that. Hits. Splash one, make twenty one. You got the last guy? I'm chasing him. I got one out on him. I got one still on the wing. That's a hit. Good kill. That's the last guy. Roger that. Alright guys, so quick little tack view review here. We have uh, Odin as uh, Eagle 2, myself as Eagle 1. We have a bunch of uh, North Korean uh, MiGs over here. They have AWACS as well. These North Koreans are controlled by Taco. Uh, combined arms is how he's doing that. Yes, they are AI, but he is telling them what to do, where to go, all that stuff, right? Um, so here, this is where we decide 
right here is where I decide like like I can see them and I ask uh, Odin here if he can see them and he says no he can't he doesn't have them on radar so I'm like okay uh, what we're gonna do is have him go cold and as he goes cold I will continue forward and he'll just come around and recommit and this will give him more of a separation between the two of us right so that when I shoot and let's say I, I kill some guys and then I miss some guys and I go cold you know, and I'm defending, he is following up behind and taking his own shots, right? Cleaning up whoever I didn't kill, you know, just getting his kills there. So this was the idea. So I told him to go cold, uh, even though he just saw them at the last second, but there wasn't, there was no point of both of us shooting at the same targets. It would have been the same probability of kill for all of the missiles. So he goes cold and I come here and I fire my AMRAMs. You can see they have their missiles in the air here. We got multiple ERs in the air coming at me. I got two MRAMs off. Uh, these uh, MIGs start notching in order to survive. And they survive both of my AMRAMs. And obviously we survive their 27 ERs. So no kills in the first leaf of the engagement. And so we recommit. You can see here my recommit is still still puts me in front of Odin here. So uh, this is where, you know, we were once again communicating like, hey, should I shoot? And he was like, no, I'm 28 miles away. And I was like, oh, like I'm 17 miles away. So uh, I'm gonna take the shots. I'll take four more shots. And again, you clean up, right? Again, we have plenty of time. Eagle gives us plenty of standoff capability. So easy for us to sort that out. I get four AMRAMs off and I start defending. Right, everybody gets an AMRAM. And I start defending. You can see Eagle 2 pushing in behind to try to clean up anybody who tries to push me or anybody that I, I miss, right? I'll go ahead and get rid of these labels real quick. We got four AMRAMs in the air, probability of kill of those. And you can see that the objective here is to get these guys, you know, defensive and doing things and thinking about incoming missiles. This missile once again misses narrowly. This missile looks like it went for chaff. This missile actually hits this guy, hits him right in the face. Splash one, make 29. Uh, so first kill right there. And this one, it looks like is gonna miss. Yeah, it misses as well. Yeah. Uh, and that's what happens. That's when you ha what happens when you have uh, a person controlling these MIGs, telling them to defend, you know? So he's doing a very good job. Taco, remember, is controlling the, the North Korean MIGs. So he's doing a nice job telling them to go cold and trying to increase their probability of surviving. We see here, now I've gone cold, so I've turned around and I've defended. And Odin here has pushed in and he has fired, I'm just going to call him Eagle 2 all the time, just so there's no confusion there. Um, he's pushed in and he fires off two AMRAMs at these two MiG-21s right here. And he defends. He's being launched on as well. He's got multiple ETs in the air from this guy, like trying to get a sneaky kill on him, right? Because these are Fox 2s. They're long range Fox 2s. They're not going to give him any RWR tone. So if he is not paying attention, not respecting Mars, not flaring occasionally, like these are really nice ways to get yourself killed. Uh, fortunately for Eagle 2 here, he's respecting the Mars. He's doing a very good job. His situational awareness is good. Uh, take note of the fact that he is now defending and Eagle 1 is recommitting, right? So I'm covering his escape, same as he did for me. And we're just gonna cycle that out and just keep grinding the MiGs down. We have two kills here. So splash one right here, splash two right here, two MiG-21s just went down. And we're back to me recommitting. We have multiple MiG-29s and one still in the air. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six guys in the air. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Seven, actually. Here's number seven. And so here I get one missile off. I only have two missiles left. Remember, I fired a bunch at the beginning, so I don't have a lot of anything left. Uh, these two, I believe, are the strike aircraft, the ones carrying the bombs to hit the base. Uh, they are going to try to sneak through these valleys. This AMRAM that I fired smokes this guy right in the face. 
so he dies. He drops his tank to try to survive, but it's too little too late. Dies. Right there, dies to that Amram. Uh, once again, me defending, Eagle 2 recommitting. All right. And he picks up a MiG-21, who's chasing me, actually. Very good. He picks that up and shoots him right in the face. Go ahead and speed this up a little bit. So he kills that guy. Boom. And now you can see we're both recommitted. And we got a MiG-21 who snuck through behind everybody. Um, I get one Amram off. This is Eagle 1. Me getting one Amram off on a high MiG-29. He dies. We now have a MiG-21. And Eagle 2 here spots a MiG-29 up high. So, at this point, we have two strike aircraft left. These guys are carrying the bombs. We have a MiG-29, and I see this guy. Uh, Eagle 2 sees this guy. So we both go for our merges. Uh, I'm coming to get my guy. Eagle 2 kills his guy over here. He chases him down. We'll fast forward that. Gets on a 6. Takes gunshots until he's dead. Splash one MiG-29 here. Um, I'm over here behind my MiG-21. I shoot him. I shoot him. Splash one MiG-21 here. And so at this point, everybody's dead minus the two strike aircraft who are trying to sneak through the mountains here. Now we see some real heroic stuff going on where these guys are both carrying bombs, so none of them have missiles. And this guy decides again, from Taco's instructions, that he is going to leave this MiG-21 and try to give him a chance by coming to the merge against two eagles in the air and trying to, uh, you know, at least distract us long enough so his buddy can get to the base and kill uh, whatever objectives they're looking for. We got uh, Eagle 2 here who is looking for this guy because I've told him now that I'm going after the guy in the mountains. He gets on my 6. I see him on my 6 because I have the RWR ping. I turn around. I see him. Get visual. And we're in the merge. You can see he doesn't have really any chance in a dogfight against an F-15. And he is easily killed. Splash 1, make 21. He jettisons his bombs trying to survive. Uh, but he is killed. And what we got here is, while all that's going down, Eagle 2 has found the last MiG, who was headed to the base trying to set up his bomb run, and he's fired an Amram, which hits that last MiG, splash all of the North Korean bandits by two Eagles. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Big thank you to Odin and to Taco for helping out with this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.